What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do something completely new and quite experimental. If it works out, it should look pretty freaking cool. We're going to do an extreme deep etch on our Damascus steel, and then we're going to inlay the whole thing with strontium illuminate glow crystals. First, we'll slice off a piece of our material of choice, and that is stainless steel Damascus. We chose this for a couple of reasons. Obviously a big one would be the pattern it has. That's kind of the whole point of this ring, but its durability is just as important. This is going to last a lifetime and then some. Stainless Damascus is some of the most robust and oxidation resistant material that we ever work with. All right, our big metal saw made quick work of that. That took maybe two or three minutes to get all the way through the rod. I remember back in the day in my old shop in my parents' basement with my hand saw, this would probably take me 45 minutes to an hour just to get that one cut done. Let me just say, I am super grateful for power tools. Now quickly, we'll face off again, making sure our piece is perfectly flat and even, ready to move on to the next step, which is going to be using our rigid center drill to create a dimple in the piece. We're just gonna go a couple of millimeters into the material, at which point we'll switch over to a more standard twist drill. That dimple that we created helps keep the twist drill perfectly centered, that way it can drill through without any issues. You'll notice this footage is sped up. This takes quite some time. I said it once, I'll say it a thousand more times. Stainless steel Damascus is no joke. It's such a pain to work with. Due to the different metal alloys in it, it's got a lot of conflicting properties and random just challenges that you gotta work through. So we're keeping our feeds and speeds kind of dialed in where we want them and using plenty of coolant. And as per usual, we switched over to a tungsten carbide boring bar. This is probably the quickest and best way to enlarge the hole that the drill bit made in order to get it up to our ring size that we want. All right, our size is right where we want it. We're gonna hit it with a bit of sandpaper to knock off any sharp edges. Then we'll switch over to a Patrick Adair Supplies expanding ring mandrel. We'll start working on the outer diameter. All right, here we go, making some metal confetti, some really expensive metal confetti at that. This Damascus steel is good stuff, it's also pricey stuff. All right, we've got the OD where we want it. We're gonna switch over to some bevel bits and just put some light bevels on these edges. We're not gonna leave it like that forever. We're eventually going to round it out, but that'll quickly do a bulk of the work for us. Now using this narrow carbide bit, we're going to cut an inlay channel to the ring. This isn't completely necessary for this ring, but it is an accent we wanted to add. I think it'll really enhance the overall finished result of the ring, but definitely be sure to let us know what your feedback is once you see the finished result. Now, like I was talking about earlier, we're gonna take a sanding bit and then just smooth out the whole outer diameter of this thing. Yes, we put bevels on it earlier, but we're rounding that out. That was just to save us time. Now we'll repeat the exact same thing to the inside. We just wanna round everything off. We're gonna give it a really nice comfort finish to make it obviously super comfortable to wear. And then slowly but surely you can dial in the exact size and the exact dimensions you want. All right, there's the shape of the ring finish. Now we're gonna do some polishing steps. We're gonna throw it into our magnetic pin tumbler. This is probably one of the coolest machines we've got here in the shop. It's got a big magnet under it that moves, causing thousands of these tiny metal pins to just fly around. And it does an amazing job. It'll polish things that nothing else will. Because the pins are so small, I can get in every single little tiny detail. Now for the etch. Usually we'd etch it for about 15 to 20 minutes. This time we used twice as much catalyst as normal and we left it in there for four hours. So yeah, definitely a very deep etch. We want it to be as deep as possible. That way we've got plenty of room to inlay all of the glow powder. Thank you. 
The etch is done. We'll quickly neutralize it in some baking soda and water. We definitely don't want to melt anyone's fingers, so we got to make sure to neutralize it. All right, now we've got it back mounted on the expanding ring mandrel, and this looks really cool as it is. First, we're gonna add a little bit of our Astro Dust White Pearlescent Powder to the glow powder itself. This will give us a, a little bit of a brighter, cleaner white look in the daytime while still leaving us with a quite honestly shockingly bright green glow in the dark. Now the inlaying is straightforward, but definitely very tedious. We wanna be very thorough with this step, make sure that we don't have any missing spots or any voids or anything like that. Now to hold it in place, we're gonna use some Astrotech Super Thin CA Adhesive. This stuff is super thin, just like water, so it actually uses capillary action to just soak and absorb into the whole material. That makes sure that the inlay is gonna be really durable and it'll last forever. We're gonna go ahead and do the inside of the ring as well. We're gonna make sure that this looks amazing inside and out. All right, time to shave this back down. So we're gonna use some sandpaper and slowly just wear away at all of the excess glow powder until you can see the exposed metal. Now we're still nowhere close to being finished, but you can get a sense of just how cool this is gonna turn out. You can see both of the materials and that awesome wood grain pattern. Oh, I love it, it's looking great. Boom, here we are done. Look how cool this is. I can't get over how awesome this turned out. Obviously, this is something that you kind of imagine in your head to be just like, whoa, what a cool project this is gonna turn out. So cool, it's gonna have this awesome pattern in the dark, it's gonna look crazy, but you never really know until it's done and you actually turn off the lights and you just see it pop and just like, yes, it turned out just as good as I ever could have imagined, if not even better. And uh, yeah, that I don't have to say much more than that. These images speak for themselves, how cool. Thank you to the whole team here at Patrick Adair Designs for making this project happen. So many talented individuals working together to make such a cool project. Let us know down in the comments what you think of the outcome. And of course, as always, these are available on the website. We're gonna have a link to that down in the description if you wanna order one. 
And then let me know down in the comments any ideas you'd have for follow-up videos. I think this is such a cool concept and I wanna keep doing it. So let me know what materials you'd like us to try experimenting on next, what other deep etches you'd like us to see, anything like that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll be back again very soon with another really awesome project, so make sure to get subscribed if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one.